up, I preached here not long ago and said that every woman in this city was guilty in one way or the other of adultery. They are. But women go downtown here and you can hardly buy a dress unless it's sold like they was poured in it. I'm not here to, this is my own church. I have a right to preach what the Holy Spirit tells me here. Right. Let me tell you, I'm not criticizing you, my sister. But don't the Holy Spirit teach you different? If it doesn't, I'm afraid you didn't get the Holy Spirit. Right. The Holy Spirit's not shouting. The Holy Spirit's not dancing in the Spirit. The Holy Spirit's not speaking in tongues. The Holy Spirit is righteousness. God give us a Holy Ghost revival of God sent righteousness. Did you realize that when you dress yourself like that and walk down the street and man looked at you in the wrong way, that at the judgment you may be as pure as a lily before your husband, but at the judgment you'll be guilty of committing adultery with the guy that you presented yourself to. Wonder it would make a person. So wonder what does it do to cough when the Bible said in the beginning that it grieved him that he made man. It grieved the heart of God when he looked up on him in the days before the end of losing destruction that he ever made a man. What happened? The sons of God saw the daughters of man was fair. It was a perversion. It was a sex mix-up. It was that thing that drove the children of of God from the Garden of Eden. It was that thing that drove God's judgment to bring uh, peace upon the earth. It was that thing that caused them to destroy. It was that same mixing up between women and men that caused Sodom and Gomorrah to sink in the bottom of the Dead Sea. It was told by the prophet. It was told by the Lord Jesus that as it was in those days, so will it be before the coming of the Son of God. We look today and see that the church has taken its pattern not out of the Bible, out of Ruth and out of Neoma and out of Sarah and the ones in the Bible, but their pattern, even the women of the church, after Hollywood and the very dregs of the devil. And how that our people who call themselves Christians go out here and get this evil man's ways, these records of Elvis Presley, or what his name is, one of the most deluded devil possessed people I'd ever heard of in my life, Arthur Godfrey and such as that, and listen to them kind of nonsense on your radios and refuse to hear the gospel sermons preached in the Bible? God have mercy on you. What kind of a spirit have we got among us? That is right. No wonder the prophet of God blushed before the, the Lord. He knew that was unrighteous. And he stood and pleaded the king. And said to God, we're unrighteous. And we are friends. And until we can come back to that spot of a blood transfusion, quit trying to put on plaster. Quit trying to put on some sand. The healing can't come unless the bloodstream dries. That's the reason that people have got diabetes. If one would ever cut himself, they probably would never eat. Why? Because the real red blood cells is eat up. And the whole church has become diabetic. And the every little cup that comes and instead of walking on you, pick at it. It can't heal. Selfishness, greed, immorality, everything else that's in the calendar of God's wrongdoing. The church is picking up those habits. Man, drinking, smoking, telling dirty jokes. Women, cutting their hair, wearing makeup, doing all kinds of things, dressing themselves immorally. The face of people. All those things are because it's a lack of the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ that cleanses us from all our unrighteousness. That may seem hard. Sure it's hard, but it's the truth. If we don't belch forth the judgments of Almighty God, you're going to be caught one of these days in an atomic explosion here that will send every soul out into eternity to meet a God who will only recognize the blood of His Son, Christ Jesus. My advice to see you is come under the blood. My advice to see you is to get back to God. My advice to see you is why can't we have faith? Why can't we have greater healing than we do have? Why can't we get ourselves soundly building? It's because we're putting on corn plasters. Because we're putting on thicker, putting on pieces of tape, 
We're trying to cover the thing up instead of saying we need a transfusion. Amen. We're without blood. We're without Christ. Don't let yourself be fooled. Don't let the devil pat you on the shoulder. Say, well, I go to church. The devil does too. Right. Be sure to come up to God. Went to church up in heaven. Come before the throne of God with the sons of God. Sit down with them. Had an audience with God. He said, where have you been? to walk walking through the floor up down on the earth. That's where he had been. So the devil goes to church. The devil belongs to church. The devil acts like a Christian. He's a deceiver. And if he didn't act like a Christian and act like a church, he wouldn't be a deceiver. Amen. No man can be deceived or anything is different than black and white. It's contrary to one another. But he, the Bible says that it'd be so close that it would deceive the very elect as possible. Amen. The Spirit in the last days. Friends were there. It's time for the prophets of God. Oh, brother, for the preachers, if you would say it, across the nation to fall on their face. Why, though there's 19 million Baptist churches, 19 million Baptist brothers in America, 13 million Methodists, 11 million Lutherans, 10 million Presbyterians. Mercy, think of that. And constantly, the ball game, the amusement, and on Wednesday night, and sometimes on Sunday night, stay home to listen to the television and the radio of old jug gags and jokes they pull from Hollywood. Your soul rolling on that kind of stuff when you ought to have your Bible out somewhere laying out before God on your knees of praying for the sins of the country. And I'm guilty with you. I have made my mind up by the help and grace of God. If I, God will give me strength to do it, I'm determined to press towards the mark of the high calling in Christ Jesus till death shall set me free. God be my helper to do so. Help me is my prayer. See the works and see the things that I have seen and you have seen and lag it behind and become a spiritual anemia.